Dear colleagues, this is another case of uh, intumescent cataract. As you can see, I'm trying to aspirate uh, the cortex through the cystotum in order to decompress the bag. And with this grease hover forceps, you can turn it and twist it. And uh, it's a great uh, forceps that uh, you can uh, do a capsulorexis in uh, any a difficult situation and will be a good uh, round capsular axis. I'm um, aspirating the cortex on top of the nucleus and then make a quarter of a trench large enough uh, to be able to bury the tip and the sleeve inside the middle of the nucleus and then do the chop. Pay attention to these uh, choppers, uh, the sharp ones, this is a Mohanta chopper, pretty uh, sharp one, it's very good for this kind of uh, leathery nucleus uh, and uh, cataracts. Uh, you gotta pay attention to not catch the rexis, you gotta go underneath the rexis, otherwise you will have a you will have a tear into the anterior capsule. Also, um, pay attention to the fact that I keep the bevel down. Uh, the faculty tip is facing down uh, towards the posterior uh, part of the nucleus. And um, in this way, you can have a clear cornea the next day, even in those uh, hard leathery cataracts. You gotta be more careful with the foot pedal in this way, because uh, any surge in the anterior chamber will uh, end up with the posterior rent. So, um, if you do use uh, sharp choppers, you gotta pay attention to the capsulorexis and uh, if you keep the bevel down when you do the phagomusification, you gotta have your uh, reflexes even more sharp than usual uh, and not keep the foot pedal press to a long period, otherwise you end up with the uh, or rent in the posterior capsule and notice the fact that I no longer keep the chopper face with the tip facing down at the end of the faca emulsification at the last pieces uh, so you will not accidentally impel the posterior capsule with uh, the chopper in the event of uh, fluctuation in the anterior chamber. And finishing the, the FACA emulsification, clean up the bag real well of all the remnants of uh, the cortex, injecting the IOL under uh, irrigation is very easy and you have less uh, uh, viscoelastic to clean up at the end of the surgery and uh, I no longer hydrate my uh, incision, none of them. I just, uh, with the tip, uh, betadine, with the betadine I close the case. Thank you and have a good day.